Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. Man, I'm not sure who at EA made this card, but they made Donzo Foreman potentially RB1 in this game. And I know Adrian Peterson exists, and there's going to be comments about what I just said, but Donzo Foreman has a real chance to be RB1. We have to obviously test him out, see how he plays. All that good stuff, but 91 speed, 88 acceleration, 91 break tackle, 91 truck, 88 COD, even 90 agility is pretty good. 85 carrying should be good enough. Six foot one, 235 pounds with 86 strength. This card is a much better Marshawn Lynch. It's not even close. It's not even close. He's better than Bo Jackson, but the only debate is going to be him or Adrian Peterson. That's going to be the debate. He's also better than the new Josh Jacobs that came out today as well, who also does get jukebox but this car with 91 break tackle 90 juke move 91 shrug um even wait, where's the stiff arm 85 stiff arm on this card too i mean he has a real chance to be better than adrian peterson and he also does get better x factors than adrian peterson as well uh, he does get unstoppable bruiser and unstoppable jukebox too which you can run for okay this has got to be a glitch because it's 2 ap so that can't be right they're probably gonna fix that but unstoppable jukebox should not be 2 ap it should be zeros i would imagine they would change this if they don't it doesn't matter um i still do think with angry runs 2 ap even if you if you want to run angry runs if you like the ability the x factor go for it, the options there but today i think unstoppable bruiser for more powerful truck and stiff arms activated after two touchdowns paired with jukebox that he does and his army apprentice as well so if you like that go for it but jukebox and then after two touchdowns him getting bruiser to me for 2 AP is insane. And, and, you know, with his stats too, does get some pretty unique theme teams as well. This card's gonna be a demon, man. I'm telling you, he's gonna be a monster. So, yeah, make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna fill out, you know, Dante Foreman's final report. But, man, let's get into the gameplay. I'm excited to see what Foreman can do today. If you are in the 50% of people who are not subscribed to the channel, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. A shout out for today's video goes to my man Carter for commenting the emoji on last video. And if you want a chance to shout out in the next one, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment the fire emoji. I mean, I'm really hoping that this card does kind of get overlooked because I would love to be able to buy this card for pretty cheap. I bought him for about $8.50, um, but his price could drop. I, I'm hoping this card kind of does stay secret. I, I'm not going to say secret, but I think he's going to be a mod. Look at this build, too. He, this card's going to be crazy, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Bre breaking a tackle like that right there i mean that's a broken tackle i struggle to break tackles with adrian peterson and it could be my experience if you like adrian peterson use adrian peterson i think running backs probably the only position in this game also maybe qb as well um because there's some preference there but i really do believe that uh yeah running backs probably the only position in this game where like it like it, it, your experience is different you know maybe if you like adrian peterson or bo jackson or a guy like that i've heard awful things about bo jackson i love bo jackson i, I praised the card for the last two months so you know, there's definitely mixed reviews at running back, and I think that's probably like one of the only positions in Ultimate Team from year from year to year. I've been doing this for a while at this point. That um, oh, he's gonna give me touchdowns. I don't want to do this. And his drip's tough too. But I think running back's one of the few positions where it's like, okay, you know, that does make sense. But this guy's just gonna give me touchdowns. I mean, this is what Mutt Champs is at this point. Um, and I do play Mutt Champs for gameplays because um, I don't really care about my, about my Mutt Champs record, and I like grinding seasons on stream. So, you know, I. I, I don't know what to do in this scenario, really, because for a gameplay, is it good if I'm running the ball against the guy and he, all he's doing is field goal block? Probably not. So what do I do? I don't know. All right, here we go. Back on offense. Wait, what play was that? Zone alert bus. That sounds like a great play. But we are back on offense here with Dante Foreman. My last opponent quit. But I did go on this spiel about content in this game. So we might as well talk about it. You know, I'm going to waffle here for a second while we run the ball. But um, this is one of EA's good content weeks. I think this is a theory I'm, I'm, I'm having throughout this year where instead of EA just dropping just consistently good content, what they're doing is they're making us go on dry spells so it makes like these content drops look insane. Look at a promo like Unstoppable. Look at Campus Heroes. We go on these runs this year where content is laughable. Let me see that. Juke, let me see that. Juke, Dante. Oh my goodness. Oh my, get off me. Get off me. Okay, nah, 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 nah. See, this is what I mean, bro. This is what I mean about this card. He just feels solid. He accelerates well, and we get another victim here. I mean, <laughs> Dr. Foreman is going to be an insane card. We're out of here. And, yup, I'm pretty sure my game froze. Man, dude, Madden 24 might be the hardest game to get clips on. Like, no, just, just to record gameplays on. Like, it really might be. <laughs> it's so tough. And at this point, I've really just stretched my rambling over three games. So, I... <laughs> If the last couple of clips, you know, I, I don't really complete the thought. 
um, you know, I guess you kind of get what I'm saying, but yeah, I've stretched. It's been like 10 minutes since I started talking about the content, um, you know, cycle in this game. But yeah, I, I really do feel like there is something going on where EA's not stupid. People think EA's stupid. They might be sometimes, and you know, I get it, but they know what content makes them money. They know, they know what cards are good. They know what cards people like. They're not, they're not that like out of touch. So I feel like this card just goes crazy, bro. Dude, okay, okay. I, I like Don, dude. dude. I like Don the Foreman a lot, but um, yeah, I think this is one of those good content weeks. So I mean, like my theory could shoot itself in the foot today or tomorrow whenever they reveal most feared cards, but I'm expecting this most feared drop to be insane. I really am. It has to be. This week's going to be really good. I think they're going to finish it out with a really good uh, most feared drop in. There's no way them dropping, you know, Geno Smith and a bunch of Lyman and, uh, you know, Avante Maddox. Like, like, they're not, like, they know what they're doing. You know what I mean? They, they, like, they have to. I mean, it, they just have to. They just have to, man. They just have to know. Bro, the fact they gave Danto Foreman jukebox and also made him, like, a decent route runner pass catcher, to me, is crazy. And if you really want to invest 3 AP in your running back, what you could do is you could, oh, I, oh my god, I didn't even need to juke there. I cut that. I made that cut with Dante. This card's moving crazy. Dude, I, I thought I was having to juke to change direction there. I didn't even need to. I I was out of there before even juking. Damn, okay, Dante, chill. He's moving crazy. But yeah, man, they just juiced this card. I, I'm so surprised by it. And I liked Chris Brooks last week, too. Um, He didn't get this treatment. He definitely didn't. And Dante Foreman was put on a clinic last week. I will say that. Dante Foreman was going crazy last week, man. I mean, watching that dude play, I thought I was watching uh, Prime Marshawn Lynch, bro. I, I Prime Adrian Peterson. If, like, he was going crazy. And yeah, if you do want to buy this card, I would definitely wait until tomorrow. I might buy him back. I'm probably going to sell him after this video, depending on what his price is. I bought him for $850. He, 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 I mean, he, he could be down at $650 right now. I could have lost $200K easily on this card. Um, but I kind of want to see. There we go. Look at the acceleration, bro. To me, he, dude, I'm going to have to answer this question at the end of the video regardless. But to me, he feels better than Adrian Peterson. And to me, he just feels better than Adrian Peterson. I use Adrian Peterson for a whole stream. Played a whole Monster Match season with Adrian Peterson. And but he has two different cleats on? Why does he got two different cleats on, too? I didn't even realize that. That, is, that. That's elite drift. No other guy in the game got two different cleats on. But, um, dude, this plot is naked. We gotta throw this, bro. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta punish him for playing too far to that side. You know, you gotta punish him. You got In this run, you gotta punish the guy. But two different cleats, bro. I mean, that, that's like Alvin Kamara on Christmas, man. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I guess it, 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 it's probably a mistake. But low-key, with the new, um... Yeah, low key with the new uh the new like customization system i guess you can do that now run two different co colored cleats i'm not even gonna cut this back i wanted to click on he clicked on a little late but still we're falling forward for eight yards the weight on this card the acceleration on this card it just feels really good man i i you know short short sample size small sample size not short small sample size but my goodness is Dante foreman just falling forward look at this man look at this that first run when he broke that tackle i knew i was like okay this card might be serious now come on be serious now but yeah, I don't wait to buy this card until tomorrow. The Team of the Week promo is not a very popular one. People are not opening up packs for these cards. It's simple as that. Even though today's drop was actually really good, people, you know, they're not opening packs for Team of the Week cards. And, you know, people are not spending their coins um, on cards that come out today, especially when there's a big promo coming out the next day. So, um, you know, I would probably wait to wait till tomorrow. He's, he's still going to be in packs. His price will naturally fall. It's like an LTD that never leaves packs. That's, that's what these Angry Runs cards are like. Turn that corner down. Turn that corner. Find that hole. Okay, that was okay. He may have found some run D. Let's start running some. Uh, let's start running some dives. All right, here we go. Right back to it. Do I actually think this guy found a solution to run D? I don't know if he did. I don't know. We're gonna find out here. But um, yeah, I do. I like this card a lot. You're gonna see it in the final report. I, I would imagine I give Dante a pretty much perfect grade. Um, and again, you gotta throw that bubble when it's there because that is an easy gain of seven. And this will just actually open up the run better for Dante Foreman um a hundred percent here we go man up the outside guy or not man up uh, mike the outside guy make sure we're making contact there and the acceleration on this card feels crazy bro yeah, he just to me he just feels better than adrian peterson and i don't know what it is they're, they're, they're built the same the acceleration's the same <laughs> i mean they shouldn't there's no reason why adrian peterson should feel worse than this card but to me i mean ap is obviously very good but i don't know man i don't know Dante's going crazy I mean, could it also be because I was running the Legend X X Factor evasive on Adrian Peterson? It could be that too. But for the gameplay, I had jukebox, right? For the gameplay, I had jukebox on Adrian Peterson. So, all right. I mean, when I see the slot is wide open like this, I mean, you're just inviting me to throw that pass. But we're not going to throw it actually because for some reason it didn't even work. I didn't even need the juke. I just got to cut. I got to get more used to cutting um, and then juking because there's just no reason for me to actually make that cut right there. There's no reason. 
There's no reason for me to juke right there and waste a... Yeah, that's, you gotta throw that ball. He didn't know it in the hard flat. You gotta throw that turtle. Pick up the second guy. Odo back on the sideline. Whoop. And there we go. Get right back to it. No huddle. Bro, someone on the Adrian Peters video commented like, oh, I don't know why his acceleration is low. Because I run like no huddle or something like that. I don't know what the comment was. Something like, I run no huddle so the cards accelerate slower. I do, I do the same thing with every single damn card, man. I mean, it, it's, it's um you know, it's not like I'm doing these gameplays differently per running back. You know what I mean? Like, I run no huddle with the running back in these videos. So, you know, they all, they all, they're all getting the same treatment. They're all getting the same look. And we should actually punch this thing in with Danta. And that should, that would light up our bruiser. But um, I'm going to head to the final report. I'm a huge fan of this card, man. And by the way, Unstoppable X Factor means it will not turn off for the rest of the game. So, in, in it, for, for example, in this game, you know, it's the second quarter. I now have a bruiser jukebox running back for the rest of the game. I mean, Unstoppable X Factors are actually amazing and they're free. Unless it's, unless it's jukebox. For some reason, that one call, it, that, they, they should fix that. But um, yeah, now we just have bruiser and uh, jukebox. Come here. Come here. Okay, I didn't. I, I haven't mastered trucking this year. I haven't figured out trucking. Stiff arms I got, trucking, I don't have that yet. Okay, for Dondo Foreman's final report, this is a 20 star player. Simple as that, easy as that. 20 stars for Dante Foreman. To me, him and Adrian Peterson, 1A, 1B, B, a, 1B, whatever you say. 20 star player right here, physical. He's right up there with Adrian Peterson. The stats, amazing, can make guys miss, can deny any juke move. Abilities, obviously, with the X factors and the juke move uh, rating, it, it's all there for Adrian Peterson, or not Adrian Peterson. I'm a little confused in their names at this point. Uh, for for Dante Foreman. And finally, you know, the animations, this car was breaking tackles, was bouncing off guys, good juke animation, checks all the boxes, accelerates well. This is another 20-star player, and yeah, I would say him or Adrian Peterson, for me, I actually like Dante Foreman more, but I know there's mixed, you know, there's mixed opinions, uh, you know, for different running backs, um, but if you are trying them both for the first time, I would say whichever one you can get for cheaper. So, you know, they're both really, really good, and it's crazy that I'm comparing Dante Foreman to Adrian Peterson, but here we are.